Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough. The mystery Pokemon on the last part was Bowsprout. Coincidentally, I decided to match it up with the uh, well, with the uh, theme of the last uh, part, which was Bowsprout Tower, which really sucked and pissed me off. Now, before we go into the gym and battle Faulkner, I will heal up my Pokemon, and then we're gonna kick his ass. I would hope. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though, because if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think the first gym is by far the easiest gym ever. Not because obviously his Pokemon are lower level than all the other gyms, but just in terms of a gym, like... Like on Pokemon Red, I found that Brock was probably harder than the Grass Gym for me. And, um, like, the Poison Gym wasn't that, uh, wasn't that hard for me either. But certain gyms are a bit tougher, and I think this is probably the easiest gym in the entire game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he says. Yo, champ in the making, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me. If you believe me, then Championship Dream will come true. The grass type is weak against flying types. Well, no shit, Durlock or whatever they say. Okay, this is it. Two trainers and the gym leader. Let's kick some butthole. Before we do, though, let me see if I've got my Hoot Hoot out. Um, Pokemans. All right, we'll swap Hoot Hoot with Cyndaquil because he needs a bit of grinding, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. And then we'll just uh, we'll battle some trainers. Let's do this. Oh, come on, hurry up. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. You weirdo. Okay, let's do this then. Bird Keeper Abe, he's got a cage with him, and I think he's broken his arm or something, it's like bandages on there. Alright, level 9 Spearow, I won't say I'm in the advantage here. We'll just use Tackle, see how we do. Ouch, 10 damage. How much does this Tackle do? Oh, nice. Nice shit, Hutu, I'm proud of you. Fury attack, that can hit up to five times. If it does, I might die. Oh god. Hootoot, -hoot, please, no. Oh, I got lucky. Um, I think it'd be in my best interest to uh, change to... I could heal him. Yeah, I could definitely heal him. But honestly, it would be more wise for me to um, change Pokemon to my Cyndaquil. I'm using my mouse for some reason. Okay, Cyndaquil. We'll have to split up the experience between the two. I didn't didn't expect to be so hurt from this Spearow. Spearow has a decent attack though, so it's not too surprising. And there we go. The foe Spearow fainted. Hoot Hoot get some experience, and so did Cyndaquil. Fortunately, I'm going to have to use a potion now. Don't think I'd have to use a potion so quickly. Alrighty. Bag. Um, medicine pocket and potion. I'll use it on Hoot Hoot. Pathetic thing. <laughs> Alright. Let's get off of this. Next Pokemon trainer, here we go. Oh, there's like glass on the side. Ho ho! Use use some kind of big shot, we'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you're staggering full? People here are training night and day. Bring it on. Yeah, this is a bit of a health hazard, really. There's no like fences or anything or barricades. This is just a giant death trap, really. If you fall off, you're gonna die. But whatever. Let's kick this Pidgey's ass. It's a level lower than Mahoodoo, so should be fine. Sand attack? Oh, God. It's, it's a troll attack. I'm using Hypnosis now. Go to sleep, Pidgey. Have a, have a dream. Dream about how shit you are. Alrighty. Oh, no, I don't want to use my bag. God damn it. I always click the wrong things. We will use Tackle. He did use a Sand Attack though, so I might miss on one occasion, but I have to take the risk to defeat him. We'll use Tackle again. Okay. Oh, he's going to be on red health. Oh, so close. You know, I love it. I love it when uh, all my Tackles hit and the Pidgey doesn't wake up. Things seem to be going my way, and Hutu's level 9. I believe he learns Peck now. Yes, he does, and uh, I'll learn it over something shit like it. It's got Growl, yeah. Get rid of Growl. I still don't know what, uh, well, completely know what Foresight does, but I can read it later. Another Pidgey. All right, Hoot Hoot, you've had your fun. We'll send out Cyndaquil. I think he's close to leveling up, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, he's very close. What level is this? Level 7. Oh, I'm very, very sure I'm going to level up off that off of this Pidgey, and in doing so, I should evolve. And then Faulkner's gonna be getting destroyed by me. 
No need really to waste an ember, so I'll use tackle. Ah, oh, damn it! I should've used ember. Damn it! Well, I'll use another tackle. <laughs> if that missed two, I would've raged. Would've raged really hard. Oh, yes! Level 14! Doesn't learn anything though, but still, he's gonna evolve. Gah! Yeah, we got 224 bucks. What? Cyndaquil is evolving? Here we go. Yes! I like it. Congratulations! Congratulations! Your Cyndaquil evolved into Quillava. Looks like he's got a bit of a Mohican on his head. Alright, now it's time to fight Faulkner. Um, I think I might use some potions just to be on the safe side. Let me get them out. Uh, I have to look down at my keyboard to make sure I'm pressing the right key because I usually get them mixed up. Alright, potion, use. Uh, who, who doesn't need one? Quilava? I'll do it anyway. It's not like it's necessary, but it's good to be safe about these things. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, we'll keep Hoot Hoot on the front line and we'll battle this guy. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym Leader. Oh, no shit, I didn't know that. People say you can f clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, wow, well, everybody knows that electric is super effective, except you, it seems. A Pidgey? Level 9? Is that it? Yeah, this guy's not really that tough. He's got like a Pidgey and a Pidgeot, so it's nothing that special. Honestly, okay, that's not fair. Didn't expect a critical hit off the bat. We, we'll go for a Hypnosis again. But in reality, out of all the gyms, this guy is by far the easiest. Um, you know, flying Pokemon aren't that special. Unless you go for the Trickerito, you might be in a bit of trouble. But if you go for Totodile or Cyndaquil, it's fine. You won't have much trouble against this guy. Unless he gets critical hits like he did on my Hoot Hoot. Let's just hope he doesn't wake up too quick. Yes, one more peck, and that'll be the trick. If he wakes up, my Hutu is dead. There we go, that should be it. Barely survived that. Got quite lucky, really. And he's about to send up Pidgey Oto. I will switch to Quilava. And this should be a two shot win, providing no bullshit happens. I don't, I don't expect myself to miss or anything. The wind is finally with us. Unfortunately, we were inside, so there's not really much wind. Oh, that didn't do too much, actually. I was expecting a little bit more. Oh, well. Mr. Beaks will fail again. Oh, that, that does half his HP, I think. At least heals half his HP. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just keep using Ember. Eventually, I'll hit a critical hit and I'll win. It's actually putting up some resistance here. Good news is Quillab has a huge special attack. We can still fly. Once again, we have a ceiling above our heads. Bit of a problem when you're in a gym. Okay, I win. Well, it's gonna be about three quarters of my XP, I think. Very nice. I understand. I'll bow gratefully. Gratefully or gracefully? <laughs> For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, but a defeat is a defeat. Here's my badge. Thank you, Falconer. With that badge, Pokemon including trading Pokemon to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use Rock Smash. And here it is, Rock Smash, yay. Actually, no, that's not Rock Smash, what am I saying? That's Roost. Yes, restores half the HP. For some reason, I thought it was Rock Smash for a second there. Had it kind of like engraved into my head for some reason. Anyway, let's get out of this gym. It's a bit of fun. Oh, I got a phone call of Professor Elm. What's he want now? Hello, Yami, we've discovered something. The details are well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up the egg? Sure thing, I wouldn't say no to you. I don't want to call my mum, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, let's click off of this. Before we go to the Pokemon, I will heal up my team. It's good to heal, you know, especially when my Hootoot's almost dead. Poor thing. I really do try to make my Hootoot uh, survive, but... It's a bit low level at the moment, and uh, he needs a bit of training. But you know, what's his name? Knocked out or something like that. He's he's cool. We've restored your Pokemon. Please come again anytime. Okay. 
All right, let's go to the Pokemon, but before we do, I'm going to quickly save it because last time I went in there, my game glitched out. It was horrible. It wouldn't let me move, it wouldn't let me save, it wouldn't let me do anything. So just to be on the safe side, we will save it first and then hopefully things will be fine. At least that's what I'm hoping. Now we save the game. Okay, let's try it again. Into the Pokemon we go. Here he is. Ah, that seems good. Long time no see, Yummy. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Alm. We would like you to take care of an egg. Thank you. It's definitely not Togepi. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. After you left, Professor Alm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. Uh, Sonny Crota, I can't think of anyone more suited than Yummy. He insisted that I hand it to you because you're cool and stuff. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it as long as you keep it in your party. Please take good care of it. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Alm. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna quickly send out Quillalava to the forefront because Hootoot's fine. There's my egg, and it's called Egg. <laughs> uh, no surprises there, so let's get off of this. Hello, Quillalava. Let's get out of this Pokemon. Oh, she wants to speak to me. My, me, oh my, that egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Alm, then from him to you. Now I get it. You widow. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? Oh, I will. Okay, please. Please just go away now. You scare me. She was a bit strange, wasn't she, guys? Alrighty, off we go. And we're going to go this way. Why this way? Because this way is a good direction. This would be north, south, east, and west. We're going west. What do you want? You want to speak to me? Hello. An odd tree is blocking the way to Ecrotique. It prevents me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Ah, I need to get the water can. Yo, haven't you had trouble with a boulder blocking your way? Of course you have. There's a HM that will come to your rescue. Yes! Here it is, HM06. It contains Rock Smash. You can even use it to smash boulders. Thank you very much. See? Yeah, that's is good why you have... Uh, a bit stuttering there. This is why it's good to speak to peoples as much as possible because they give you stuff. And there's the odd tree. It's like, news, I won't let you pass. You need the watering can to get past me. And uh, we'll go down here then. Hello, old guy, and goodbye, old guy. The Ruins of Alf. What a very strange place. Let's see what it says. Ruins of Alf. Visitors who are interested in archaeology are welcome. Um, alrighty. I'm not entirely sure what's in this place. Alright guys, I'm actually going to cut this one very short. Sorry for it only being about 13 minutes long. But I'm going to do some slight research on this place, where to get the water can, everything like that. So uh, it's not a mess in the next episode. I want it to be quite, you know, simple and professional. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We defeated Falcon. It wasn't too hard. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye everyone.